Hello and welcome to my let's play of the Backbone Prologue. This day, uh, this day, this game is described as a um, noir um, detective role-playing adventure. I forgot something again. Yeah, dystopian. <laughs> A uh, dystopian noir role-playing adventure, that's what I wanted to say. And you play as an anthropomorphic raccoon detective. If that doesn't sound awesome, I don't know what does. So I'm really excited for this game. Uh, I think you can maybe tell. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, it looks really amazing. Uh, I wanted to record a Let's Play of it for quite a while now, but uh, I felt kind of like I wouldn't do it justice, so I always postponed it. But now it's featured in the Steam Game Festival. I hope that's what it's called. Uh, and yeah, it felt like the right time to finally do it. Um, yeah, and this game also features some really amazing pixel art. You will see it in a second. And you know, I love pixel art. <laughs> so yeah, let's start this and um, see if it holds up to my high expectations. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not continue, but new game. I just checked if everything is running fine, but yeah, I haven't done any real gameplay yet. Um, so I hope my testing pays off and it actually works. Yes. Sorry, missed your call. Yeah, no problem. 27 on the buzzer. Just enough time to clean up. <laughs> okay, yep, yep. A to interact with objects. Okay, so this is us. Looks like we got a knot of ear. <laughs> okay, let's check things out. Um, inspect desk. Okay. Um. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pick it up. Yeah, doesn't seem like there's anything else. Red apple cigarettes, dang dangly feet, matches, uh, an ashtray, some case files. <laughs> yeah, seems like a mess. And some more case fi uh, files. Insurance frauds, lost cars, estranged lovers. Should probably get rid of some of these old case files. Okay. Yeah, I guess let's go to the living room. Media set. This damn thing stopped working a long time ago. Gotta hit Frankie up next time I'm in Pastdale. And when I have cash. So, never. <laughs> okay, notes on a fridge. Call mom, buy soap, pay bills, don't die. <laughs> Good advice. <laughs> Covered basically the four most important things, I guess. Photochemicals. Leaving developers in the kitchen is a sure road to poisoning. Or a great soup. <laughs> is this a reference to what the devs of this game are eating or <laughs> just a coincidence? I'm not sure. Well, let's look out the window. Um, hard to get tired of this view. Okay, and the lighting is really cool as well. I mean, you can tell on the character. Uh, this is just a r such a beautiful game. It's really amazing. <laughs> Breathtaking actually. Um, and it's not even on high settings because on high settings I uh, yeah couldn't manage to get a, a recording working so it can look even better. Well, place dishes. <laughs> yeah. I'll wash these later. Mm, probably not. <laughs> oh, and even A reflection in the mirror. That's so cool. And uh, the shadow on the wall. I am just in love with the art, but I gotta keep playing. <laughs> um, yeah. Um. Oh, there's something. Toilet books. 
Every toilet's gotta have good toilet books. <laughs> the Great Apes, The Great Story. Swell toilet read. <laughs> oh, more of them. Yeah, I'm glad that I clicked again. Elliot Graham said it best. Enlightening account on the last beacon of civilization and its masterful architects. Essential. <laughs> okay. Give me more. Among many great stories, the great story stands out as the gripping yet edifying tale of our tenacious leaders and their crusade to usher in an era of prosperity for the city and its citizens. Okay. No, not back to the living room. More toilet literature. No. Ah, damn. <laughs> well, guess it's time we finish cleaning up. Back to the office. Hmm. Place chemicals. All right. Everything knows its proper place. <laughs> <laughs> that must be Mrs. Green. Well then, let's open. Uh, excuse me? I'm looking for a detective floater. We spoke on the phone? Um, at your service, Mrs. Green. How's your day going? Oh, uh, um, truth be told, my back's killing me. Pregnancies put real pressure on the spine. And please, Odette is fine. Your first kid, you got it. How can I help you today? I didn't say much when we... S uh, you didn't say much when we spoke before. You got it. And uh, Let's not be indiscreet. <laughs> you got it. How can I help you today? I understand this sort of thing is routine in your line of work. It's about my husband, you see. He's missing, I'm listening. He's a cheater, ain't he? <laughs> I'm listening. He just hasn't been himself lately. Getting home at odd hours, making weird excuses. You suspect he's cheating on you? You try to talk to him about it? Yes, but he gets difficult. Like it's my fault. I just need to know if you can get proof of his infidelity. I need it for the court. Court? Are you fighting for a divorce? Tell me about the affair. I'll get you the proof, Odette. I need his picture and some information about his routine. Tell me more. What do you need to know? What made you think he's not faithful? Do you have any facts? Let's nail him. No. What made you think he's not faithful? He was always a private kind of man. Now he started getting home late, missing work and smelling funny. What kind of smell? He's skipping work and you caught him lying. How late are we talking? Um, what kind of smell? Like perfume and not mine. Alcohol, smoke and something poignant. A kind of herbal stink. Uh, that might be a hint we might want to remember. Herbal stink. <laughs> Okay, so he's skipping work. I've had calls from his boss, wondering if he was sick. I even covered for him. I'm so fed up with this. And you caught him lying? Well, he's just so bad at it. Wasn't much of a liar when we first met. Or at least I thought so. How late are we talking? Way past the kid's dinner time. I asked what he was doing. It didn't go well. Hold up, has he been aggressive? can't see how this is pertinent, Mr. Loter. Or that personal details can make it can make or break a case. Um. Basically she said that he got violent and I don't wanna rip open the wounds, so um yeah, um, let's talk about court then. You want to file for divorce? That's right. And above all, I need something damn damning enough that custody won't even be a question. Your husband will want the kids? 
Uh, also, there are multiple kids, I assume. Uh, your husband will want the kids. I, I can't take any chances anymore. But has he said or done something to make you think he would? This is a separate issue, one I don't want to dig up right now. It's the kids, Odette. I really need every edge I can get. Now I think this is something I feel comfortable asking about. Yeah, so let's do it. Yeah, it's the kids, Odette. I really need every edge I can get. He has threatened to take them, yes. Daisy and Elliot shouldn't have to go through all this. I'm doing what it takes to protect their future. Uh. Well, I don't know what to pick off these two, but of course it's not her fault. <laughs> but I suppose she knows that. Um, yeah, I know this isn't easy, but it's right. Yes, I'm finally being brave. For them, at least. Let's nail this bastard. I'll need a picture and information about his routine. Sure, what do you need to know? What does he look like? Here's a photo. He's an otter, of course. A little stockier than you. He wears glasses, square ones, and his wedding band, as far as I know. Oh, and he carries a black briefcase to and from work. Square, gra square glasses, wedding band, black briefcase. Okay. Okay. Where would I find him usually, I mean? Usually at work or at home. He never used to stop anywhere. Now it's all the time. Have you met any of his friends? No. But he's mentioned a few guys. Says they get together after work sometimes. What's his full name? Jeremy Green. I think people at work call him Jazz. How would I pick him out of a crowd? He wears a suit to work. I picked out his green tie and hat for him today. Green tie and hat. Green hat or just hat in general? Oh well. Um, green tie and hat. Okay. Uh, where does he work? At the Wolf Bank on Granville. I'll write the address down for you. That should be enough. There's just the matter of my fee. I can give you a hundred now and fifty when you're done. Will that suffice? Yes, plus any unexpected expenses. Please be careful. If this gets out, I'm as good as dead. I understand. I'll get started immediately. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Um, you can trust me, Odette. That sounds creepy. Um, uh, or does it? Well, it depends on how you say it. <laughs> Since she's afraid. Uh, yeah, maybe it's good to be a bit like on the personal level when she's scared for her life. You can trust me, Odette. Don't let me down, Mr. Loader. I trust you with my life. Well, that's good. Of course, I'll get right on it. Call you later tonight. Goodbye, Odette. Okay, we got a new objective. Um, this was not the way to access it. <laughs> this is it, I think. Um, no, this is the lock. Notes to self. <laughs> Reminder to call mom. It's not difficult to remember, just difficult to stop procrastinating. Oh yeah. <laughs> Truer words have rarely been spoken. Media set is bricked again. Frankie could probably fix it, but I'd have to take it all the way to Fastdale. Okay, yeah, those were important notes, but what about Odette? Client Odette Green wants proof of her husband's affair to get a divorce and win custody of their children. Task surveillance. Photographic or other substantial evidence of infidelity. Target Jeremy Green alias Jazz. Otter, chubby, average height, square glasses. Works at Woof Bank on Gl Granville 9 a.m. till 7 p.m. Should be a good place to pick up his trail. He's wearing a green hat and tie today. Also, also a green hat. That's good. Has a black suitcase and a wedding band on his left hand. 
payment, 100 upfront, 50 after, plus expenses. Should be easy peasy. <laughs> well, in these types of games, things rarely go as planned. Um, objectives, find Jeremy Green and evidence of infidelity. He works at the Wolf Bank on Granville. It's a good place to start. Complete it, tidy up before the client arrives. <laughs> Such a tidy office. Okay, let's go. Um, yeah, got it. Found it myself. Thanks, game. <laughs> You're late to Granville. Oh, the scenery. So amazing. So, Donovan's Bar, Furman and Sons, uh, a rat and another rat walking by. No, this is some other animal. Okay, Furman and Sons. Granville smells like wet concrete, overpriced fast food and puke. My kind of battleground. Okay, can we look at Donovan's? Nope. Let's talk to the squirrel. Yo, old man. Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Uh, that's not a good way to start a conversation. How's it going, fella? Just hanging. What's up with you? You could say I'm hanging too. <laughs> From my hanging to yours. Peace, bro! Take a look at this photo. Have you seen this guy around? Nah, man. Even if I had, why would I tell you? Well, see ya. That went well. <laughs> Furman. One slick, silver-tongued devil of a mountain lion. When I grow, go crazy and kill someone, I hope I can afford him. <laughs> The day I bought a bike. The life of a young, handsome ape turns to shambles when he crosses paths with a dangerous man. And he does it on his bike. <laughs> Alright. Johnny and John don't drive. Two retired taxi drivers meet next to their childhood home. And Johnny doesn't know that John is dying. <laughs> their names changed from the first line to the last one. Um, both of them actually, so that's interesting. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm focusing on the weirdest things, but I hope you can appreciate that. <laughs> also the kind of two and a half D effect here uh, with the, the thing on top there, it's really cool. The day one, bought a bike, citizen main, hehe. <laughs> Johnny and John don't drive. Okay, let's talk to Anatoly or just... Uh, okay, let's talk. Hey, if it isn't Mr. Howie, what's a rascal like you up to this fine evening? Hey Anatoly, I'm looking for someone. You got a minute? My beaver! How are Estrella and the kid? I got business here on Granville. See you later, Anatoly. My beaver. <laughs> They're both doing just fine. Essie and I are good. Great! And even got a second lad due soon. Oh, I got a great story for you. Another! Wow, you guys are lucky. Too, too many, if you ask me. <laughs> uh, no, he sounds thrilled, so I think we should be too. <laughs> Another? Wow, you guys are lucky. Thanks! He's a big one, too. As he is round as a watermelon, right? So I tell her, ha, woman, you get any bigger and I won't fit you in the trunk of the car. Ha. Uh, okay. Uh, great. Can you answer a couple of my questions first? Ha. Huh. Funny. Don't you think that's kind of mean? Yeah. Let's address it. Don't you think that's kind of mean? And so, ha, <laughs> she just turns to me with the eyes of a killer and says, Give me the bread, honey. Haha, <laughs> oh boy, women, man. Yeah, okay. Women! I really have to go. Uh, yeah, okay. 
women, mysterious creatures. They love bread. So we break the news to our boy Victor. Son, you're gonna be, a, you're gonna have a bro soon. And he's like, oh no, a bro? What is it? What was it, Tolly? Aha. Uh -huh. And yeah, aha. Uh -huh. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard. So, <laughs> okay, got some cat intruder here. <laughs> and yeah, he found a spot on the on the PC. So I think we're fine. <laughs> Another cat is lying in front of the camera. I don't think you can see him right now, but you might soon. So I tell him, Mama and Papa worked hard, so the apes to, uh, let us have another baby. Baby boy, just like you. That's a rare chance for sure. Mm-hmm. Little Victor, poor soul, starts laughing. Oh, Daddy, we're going to be so happy. Baby bro and I are going to play all the time. And I say, sure, son, but here's a catch. There always is. You and Mama gonna have to look after him because two babies mean zero daddies. Because daddy has to work four shifts instead of two. <laughs> Geez, are you alright, man? I have a missing person on my hands. His wife is pregnant too. Um. Uh, yeah, might be good to make a connection here after we listen to all this. So, I have a missing person on my hands. His wife is pregnant too. Oh, the poor lass. Well, spit it out, man. What's he look like? Is he from around here? Here's a picture. Have you seen him recently by any chance? Yeah, I seen him. Barrel of laughs kind of guy. Smell really bad. Took him back from the bite a couple of times. Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? What's the bite? Uh, any idea where, he, where he'd be now? He smelled of what exactly? Well, weird herbs. Herbal stink, I think. <laughs> Did you ever talk? Did he mention anything that seemed strange? Yeah, let's ask about that first. Nah, he was too wasted to talk most of the time. He smelled he did enough talking for both of us. Ha! <laughs> He smelled of what exactly? Ah, you know, poopy kind of smell. Stale booze and perfume, herbs, awful, awful stuff. Any idea where he'd be now? Guess the bite is as good a guess as any. It's a goopy place though, eh? Thanks, Anatoly. You're a detective's best friend. My regards to Estrella. Take care, my man. Bye. <laughs> I love these characters. Well, see ya. Yeah, bye. Don't make more stupid sexist jokes, please. <laughs> um, they did a great job restoring the Vogue. If people watched more movies, maybe the world wouldn't be so sad. I can tear my face again. Yeah, maybe, but I'm not sure. <laughs> this is also just such a lively scene. I mean, just these characters in the fore and background. This, uh, I don't know what, what kind of animal it is, but the character on the bike, it's, uh, I, I would just like to watch this for hours and appreciate every little detail and the water on the ground. Uh, it's really amazing. <sighs> well, let's continue though. I don't want to bore you by gasping over all this. And there's someone up there in that window writing something, I assume. A horse person. Ah, it's ah damn, I'm, I have to stop. Eden Simmons at Bite Club. Poster. Eden Simmons is the rising jazz star. See her tonight only at the Bite. Neat. Should I check this out once I'm done with the case? Um, or during the case. <laughs> I mean, the Bite Club is your goal right now. Okay, here we are at the Woof Bank. Woof Bank. Is this where Green works? Uh, yes, it is. A little help can go a long way. 
take take now return later okay <laughs> okay another character with a newspaper on his head ah, I love it <laughs> and still cat hair in my face don't love that hope it's gone now should we talk to the banker probably might tell uh, his colleague I forgot the person's ah, damn forgot the suspect's name so let's quickly check again my office oh that green Jeremy Green Jazz right Jeremy Otter Chubby okay square glasses yeah don't want to miss him okay so let's talk to the banker here I guess guess we should how are you doing this pleasant evening you folks work at the Wolf Bank, right? Ah, let's try a friendly starter. Although this person seems annoyed a bit. Yeah. How are you doing this pleasant evening? Why do you care? Is Jazz around? And who are you? Oh, so you know him. Asshole owes me money. I've been looking for him everywhere. Uh, hmm. I think let's not... <laughs> bust our cover even though we look pretty much like the stereotypical detective with our trench coat well oh so you know him asshole owes me money I've been looking for him everywhere well say hi to Derek here uh, because you two are probably not gonna see your money again I'll find him and make sure it doesn't happen again seen him today hi Derek when was the last time you saw him Hmm. Yeah, I'll find him and make sure it doesn't happen again. Seen him today? Yeah, but the wimp ass left early. He's scared Derek's gonna split his wig, huh? Something happened at work? Where do you think he had it? Uh, okay. Where do you think he had it? That's what we want to know. What say you boys? Home to his nagging bitch of a wife? To the gutter where he belongs? Only apes know. Did something happen at work? Did you boys spend time with him outside work? He got a girlfriend or something? You're an asshole, you know that. Um, yeah, he is, but I think we can still get some information out of him. Did something happen at work? Um, he got a girlfriend or something I think that might be important I mean that's basically what we try to prove here if you reckon harlots are sort of girlfriends then sure could be with one of them for all I know did something happen at work hmm. well, let's ask this first did you boys spend time with them outside work yeah we used to have a blast at the bite every Thursday until he turned into a needy leech the bite? Could he be there now? How the fuck would I know? Now skedaddle, Rack. I'll do just that. Okay. Well, I think we got all the information we need even without asking if something happened at work. Grilled fish, shrooms and veggies. Okay. Um, yeah. Now the cat is in the picture. I hope that's not too annoying. <laughs> He just loves sitting here. Uh, okay, the bite. Well, at least it's close by. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, I have a crouch mechanic. <laughs> Didn't use it yet. Don't think I would have needed to. Oh, hmm. Might quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Uh, might not quite fit in with this fancy crowd. Thankfully, I'm a charming boy. <laughs> Alright, bouncer. Nah, let's look what's. Hold right trigger to run. Okay. Ellie. Hmm. Lucius. Shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Who's Downey? Oh, those cat hair. 
that's really uh, annoying today. A lot of cat hair flying around, obviously. Uh, shoot, that's Downey right there in the police booth. He'll eat my brains out if he sees me. Who's Downey and where is the police? Oh, there. Okay. VCPD. Well, then I guess I better crouch. <laughs> ah, okay, yeah, there we are. Hmm. Do we want to go on or... Ah, let's check out the bite. I mean, that's basically where we suppose... Where, where we suppose he might be hanging out. So I suppose we might be able to sneak in through the alley, but maybe we can also talk to the bouncer. Uh, let's check out the alley first. Okay. Larry. Howard! Well, I'll be damned! Is that you? Larry? It's me! It's been too long! What's going on, old man? <laughs> Who are you calling old, you old rascal? Same old, can't complain. What's going on with you? Ha, who are you calling old, you old rascal? Ha, <laughs> alright, that's fair. Plus, these racks likely don't help my appearance any. I didn't expect to see you here, to be honest. So, do you live here? Are you okay? Are you okay? Not really. Thank you, though. Ha, uh, now, what's your deal? Have you seen an otter guy around here recently? Yeah, have you seen an otter guy around here recently? What did he do? Awful things to his pregnant wife. Can tell. Client confidentiality. Nothing serious, just messed up his marriage. Well, we suppose that he hit his pregnant wife, so let's say number one. Oh man, poor lady. What's he like? He's about my height, chubby, wears a green hat. <laughs> He's tall, wears a purple hat. Here's a photo. Um, yeah, I guess a photo might be ideal here. Here's a photo. Haven't seen him, sorry. Let me know if you need anything. I'm here often and hear people talk. Thanks. I'll catch you later. Bye. Okay. Intercom. Yeah, this might be one way to get in. Okay, and some interesting posters. I guess that's part of the dystopia here. Well, let's talk to the bouncer. No entrance for raccoons. Goodbye. <clears throat> Perhaps a couple of loons would change your mind. My friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. I'm sure we can arrange something, big boy. What do you need? <laughs> uh, my friend Carlos is waiting inside. Go ask him. Yeah, of course. Get lost now or I'll bash your head in. All right, jeez. <laughs> okay, so Carlos didn't, uh, didn't, didn't work. The cat wants to be famous again. Well, it fits the anthropomorphic animal style of this game. Well, let's check out the intercom. No answer. Great. Hmm. Well, damn. I wonder if there would have been a way to get in. Hmm, okay. I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me into the bite. Ah, okay, so Larry said, so what's up? Find your guy? No, but I think I know where to look. Ah, I got a lead, but the bouncer won't let me in. Tough break. It's really more of a cat and dog crowd in there. You said your guy's an otter? It's weird. Have any ideas of how I could get in? Where can I get a good disguise? Maybe if I was a handsome cat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Howard, you may be able to pass as a cat, but even then you'd be ugly. <laughs> in all seriousness, I need in. What you could do is ask Johnny. He'd know better than me. Who's Johnny? Squirrel kid with a leather jacket. He's a pusher. 
I don't entirely know what his deal is with the bite, uh, what his deal with the bite is, but they're chummy. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Why would he help? Huh. Cat hair everywhere. What sort of stuff does Johnny push? Why would he help? Uh, do we need to know? Why would he help? Might take some convincing, but he's chill. I've seen him help people cut the line. His clients, I think. Uh, might be useful information, but... Hmm. What do you know about the bite? Uh, yeah, okay, let's ask what sort of stuff Johnny sells. You're typical, like Hype and Shadowfang. Oh, get this! He started rolling out something called Monkey Bot, who comes up with these names. It's like they don't want you to do drugs. <laughs> uh. Kata, you're in the way. <laughs> oh well, I think we're gonna have to deal with it. Um, well, mm, what do you know about the bite? All right, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. Monkey bot. Yeah, word is the new thing's the shit. Though perhaps a bit less figurative, fi figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? Okay, that's useful information. And this is too much, Carter. You can lie in front, but please, not all the way in front of it. <laughs> I'm trying to record something here. You're being rude. Ah, you just don't know, right? Yeah. Oh, damn. Now the light is hitting the camera totally from the front. I'm gonna take care of that. Thanks, Carter, for pointing that out to me. You actually helped. <laughs> okay. Just a sec. Right, this is better. Mm. <sighs> yeah, sorry for the interruption, but um, yeah, it's really sunny outside and the sun moved and it was hitting the camera lens directly, so that wasn't great. Okay, yeah, we found out what uh, Jess is taking. Yeah, where is the new things? The shit, though perhaps it's a bit less figuratively than one might wish. Stanky thing. Does it have kind of a herbal stink? I've no first-hand experience, but I guess that could be a more delicate way to put it. What do you know about the bite? Owners a Bloodworth. So lots of rumors floating around about the whole ordeal. Bloodworth? Bear family? Crime family. Had a lot of friends in high places. Then the head of the family up and dies and shit hits the fan. Air ended up dead too in the aftermath. And the current owner is a relative? Yeah, she was a cousin or something. Whoa, what is she up to now? What are those rumors? Uh, what is she up to now? People say she's taking back the whole operation, piece by piece, starting with the bite. Alright, that should be enough to get me into the bite. Thanks, man. You got it, Howard. A welcome distraction, really. See you soon? Sure, Larry. Thank you. I'll see you. <laughs> oh, God. Well, now only your belly or butt is visible, so that's fine, I think. Okay, <laughs> uh, yeah, thanks Larry, you're great. So what's up, find your guy? I'll be back when I sniff something out. Okay, so we need to find that squirrel in the leather jacket to get me in. But that squirrel wasn't around here, so 
Let's go to the right. Oh damn! I forgot to crouch. Howard, come over here, boy! Uh, hey, I'm in a hurry. Talk later? What? You don't have anything to do? Or did you find a job? <laughs> I have my own PI agency, Downey. What the hell? Blah, blah, blah. If only you'd cut the bullshit and come onto the force. You know I can arrange that. Poor Edna. Geez. Thanks for looking out for me, man. But I'm fine. Listen, I don't appreciate you getting into my business. Yeah, let's tell it straight. Don't get into my business. I mean, he's rude too, so... Listen, I don't appreciate you getting into my business. I see. When you end up in jail, don't call me. Call your mom instead. Yeah, yeah. Bye. <laughs> Alright. Uh, might be not the smartest choice to... Um, don't cause any trouble, young man. <laughs> ah, well. I think we are fine. Quico Mart. Old owners still tending to the shop. I should say hi before he gets driven out by Yumi Mart. Maybe next time. MC Mackenzie and Sons Limited. Rich people close. One sock is more expensive than my whole outfit. <laughs> Susu. Foxy Burger. Once I got punched by a guy in a fedora, who then puked all over my new coat. Ah, the memories this place brings. Hmm. Well, should we dig through the garbage bin? <laughs> Maybe talk to the person first and then do it. Let's talk to Bo. Good day to you, friend. Fancy some fresh news? Uh, I think he wants to sell us the news, not tell us the news. Uh, sure, shoot. Let's try it anyway. For a half loon, you can read them all with your own eyeballs. Alright, there you go. What's the headline today? Front page today is Great A Parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. Thanks, man. See you around. How's business anyway? Well, you tell me. People want their damn news for free and damn hawkers don't help any. Why does it bother you so much? Hawkers? You know, peddlers. They haul their rickety improvised stands around and collect all the profits with nary a permit. The police booth is right there. Why does it bother you so much? Well, hawkers don't worry about bills or allowance, you see? So they can afford to sell cheap, undercut honest businessmen like myself. Criminals! Eh. No, I'm not gonna tell him to go to the police. They are just trying to make a living too. Gotcha, gotcha. I'll better go then. I bet my tail that damn rodent with the seats will be arriving any minute now. Oh, cheer up, bo. You have at least one loyal customer. Sorry to hear, man. Gotta go, but I'll see you around. Man, you can be a bit of an entitled prick sometimes. <laughs> um, yes, but maybe you shouldn't tell everything straight to people's faces. Oh, cheer up, oh. You have at least one loyal customer. Well, how about you buy something then? I've got nibbles, fizzy drinks. Actually, just remembered I gotta run. I'll try to come by later, though. <laughs> oh, loyal customer on my ass. Get out of here. Well, excuse me. Bye, Bo. Back so soon? What now? Ah, just wanted to say goodbye again. Um, yeah, time to dig in the garbage bin. I don't know why I would do that, but... Let's see. Socks, takeaway boxes, six. Aha! A ticket to the bite. Thanks, trash bin. Okay, so we don't need to find the squirrel. Hmm, interesting. Oh, the whole scroll.
scroll thing at least got us the information. Oh, I didn't look at the luscious, luscious. Um, got us the information about the. Um, don't know what it was called. Ape something. The drug that. Uh, once again, wrong button. The the drug that Jazz is taking. So Ellie, Larry. Uh, ran into my. Ah, uh, it's nice to read this. Read this as well. Ran into my old neighbor Larry. Damn, this takes me back. We used to take my bike and ride all the way up to the greenery to steal apples. We stayed in touch after his family moved away, but I lost track of him after the dunst cases. I was buried in work for months. A month. He's homeless now. Told Larry I need to get into the bite. He says Johnny will probably know a way since he's friends with the club staff. So I need to find some scroll in a leather jacket. Sounds familiar. Have I seen him already? Oh, okay, so I need to go left, I guess. Uh, sounds like the bite is the drug spot on Granville. According to Larry, Johnny pushes everything from Shadowfang to Hype and some new stuff called Monkey Butt. Monkey Butt it was, okay. Which literally stinks like shit mixed with grass. Could be that herbal stink Odette noticed on Jazz probably. Can I go in there and scroll? Oh yeah, I'm doing, I think. Yeah. Noticed on green. Of note, the bite's owner is a Bloodworth. The Bloodworth... Bloodworths were a rather notorious crime family a couple years back. Then shit hit the fan. Some deaths and the rests later, they were pretty much wiped off the map. Perhaps his, uh, this cousin's trying to restore the family business to its former glory. Then again, maybe she's just running a sleazy club. Okay, yeah, lots of information. Uh, Downy. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, Officer Downey's on shift, damn it. If he catches sight of me, he'll talk my ear off till Green's trail runs cold. Who are you dating now? Aren't you a bit old to still be single? What in the fringe are you wearing? Why even bother with a tie if you're gonna wear that coat? Family friends are the worst, especially when they're cops. That conversation with Downey was just as painful as I imagined it would be. Better give him the slip next time. Yeah. When I play the full version, I am definitely gonna remember to crouch. <laughs> um, bank employees. Those three carnivores seem to be the Woof Bank employees. Maybe they know Green? Should I ask them for his whereabouts or is it too risky? I promised Odette I'd be careful. Green's colleagues are an unpleasant lot. They are not big fans of jazz either. Seems like nobody is. So Green left work early today and rumor has it his contract's not getting renewed. In any case, ah, okay, I didn't really get that information. So it's still, that's what probably would be what they told me if I had asked uh, if something happened at work, I guess. Well, in any case, they claim the bite was their after work haunt. So it's worth exploring. Anatoly caught up with Anatoly outside the Vogue. Man is still the beaveriest beaver I know, all right? Great contact to have in case I need a ride around the city or some fresh cabman gossip. After suffering through endless stories about his kids and wife, I managed to draw something interesting out of him. Anatoly drove Green home from the bite a couple of times. Seems like the bastard reeked of weird poopy herbal stink. A fancy cigarette? Bad tea? Perhaps a new drug? I should go look in that club and see for myself. Squirrel. Uh, okay, there's a squirrel fella standing outside Furman's. Can't decide if he's shady or just a terrible sense of style. Or has just a terrible sense of style. Okay, so now we know where to look. The bite's picky about their crowd. Carnivores only. Bouncer won't budge. Gotta get creative and look for another way in or a way to change his mind. Officer Downey, yeah, we had that. Bank employees had that. Bo. Wonder if Bo has a life outside of that old newsstand. I doubt it. Kind of sad. Today's headline Grade A parade preparations underway. Celebration starts Friday. I remember the year mom took me down to Hoey <coughs> to see the parade. By the end, I was drenched in beer from head to toe. Got a cold the next day. Bo's working himself into a mood about these peddlers. On the one hand, I get it. They are bad for business and it's a pain to see people take cheap, sh cheap shortcuts after you've worked your ass off for a place 
at the table. On the other hand, we are all just trying to make a living, right? Bo could lighten up a little. He's always on about something or other. Yeah, that's cool. That's pretty much my thoughts and why I made the decisions I made in that conversation and it reflects on the text. So that's what uh, you expect from a well-written role-playing style game. Really nice. So um, my appreciation goes beyond the beautiful art. <laughs> All right, we read it all. I hope it didn't bore you. If it did, uh, sorry, I guess. Now let's look for that squirrel. Uh, I didn't really notice it. Ah, well, yes I did, but didn't notice it was a squirrel. Hard to tell when all animals are the same size. Let's talk. Oh, we did talk to the squirrel even. Yeah, right, I remember. <laughs> Damn. Forgetful me. Yo, old man. Are you Johnny? Who's asking? Name's Wallace. Um, I am. No. I actually think being honest with, uh, with someone he ne who we need help from might be the wisest choice. So, I'm Howard Loader. Pleased to meet you. You're Johnny, right? Fitting name for a grown-ass dude in a trench coat. What do you need? You got any Shatterfang? Heard you got monkey butt? I need to get into the bite. Uh, might be useful to get some monkey butt. Uh, just to make sure it's the same stuff. Hmm. Heard you got monkey butt. The fuck? Where did you get that stupid idea? Striper? It goes around. Will you help me out? Larry, <laughs> friend, goes around. Will you help me out? Look, old man, you couldn't handle that stuff even if I did have it. Hey, kid, just get me into the bite, will ya? But you know where to get it. Just square things between me and the bouncer. Hmm. Yeah, I owe you. You know what I mean. Just get me past the bouncer. I owe you. And what's in it for me, you cocky bastard? Johnny gets to not be introduced to the cops. Eh. Just the warm, fuzzy feeling of doing your civic duty. <laughs> okay, fine. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. A PI isn't a bad guy to have owing you a favor. Yeah, let's do that. As I've said, let's be honest. Okay, fine. I'm a detective. My mark is in the bite. A PI isn't a bad guy to have you uh, to have owing you a favor. You shitting me? Prove it, punk. I might consider not turning you to the cops if you help me out. You feel me? Look at me. I'm a raccoon in a trench coat. Do you think I'd ask you if it wasn't serious? Now scram. You have to trust me, Johnny. You scratch my back, I scratch yours. Ever heard that? I don't trust stripies. Let alone once in trench coats. Why would you say that? You don't even know me. Bit rich coming from a bushy-tailed corner boy, don't you think? Johnny, look into my eyes. Do they look like the eyes of a liar to you? <laughs> ah, I feel like being nice doesn't really get us to the point, but I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> Johnny, look into my eyes. Do they look like the eyes of a liar to you? Yeah, so all I see is a filthy trash mobster who drinks alone and cries over his dirty magazines every night. Probably lives with, lives with his mama too. And the trench coat is just the final pitiful cherry on top of a crab cake. What the heck, dude? That's rough. You don't even know me. Takes one to know one. Weird hearing that from a squirrel with so much fur, fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? Um... Yeah, let's uh, let's counter now. We're hearing that from a squirrel with so much fur gel that he literally sticks to the walls, don't you find? That's kind of a witty response. Shut your mouth, or I'll stuff your trash tail in it. At least my mother isn't busting her gut in the farmlands. Eh. Uh, you know you're right. I'm a loser. Uh, you know you're right. I'm a loser, but I need your help. Hmm. Uh, 
I don't like any of these options. Ah. This one is too pitiful and this one is a bit too harsh but kind of true. At least I don't need to pedal drugs to be vulnerable. Yeah, let's do it. Oh yeah? And what makes your living so noble? Putting up with losers like you, apparently. I help people and someone in the bar might need that help. So you're a good Samaritan and who's gonna save your dumb ass? Not that I give two fucks. Just shuffle your stripy feet over to the bite's entrance. That wasn't so hard, was it? All right, <laughs> we got there in the end. <sighs> Here we are, and there's the squirrel. Johnny, was it? I think there's Johnny. <laughs> um, so talk to the bouncer or talk to Johnny, I guess. Talk to Johnny. So talk to the bouncer. What are you waiting for? Okay. What do you want? Here's Johnny. <laughs> Said it. Hey, Johnny, another client for us to entertain? <laughs> Striper, you can come in. Don't cause any trouble. <laughs> Be right back. No, thanks. Go inside. Hmm. I also like the smoke. <laughs> okay. Interesting scenery. Jazz, alcohol, beautiful canine ladies. All a little too high end for my taste. Renee. Oh well, let's talk, I guess. Yeah, let's talk to Renee. Well, you're unusual. Sorry. Not unlike that greeting. I'll take that as a compliment. Uh, not unlike that greeting. Touché. Renee Wilson. Howard Loter. Wallace, pleased to meet you. Uh, should we go with a fake name here? I think with Johnny it was kind of safe to use the real name, but with random people in the bar, Wallace. Wallace, pleased to meet you. Hm, that's a fake name. You're too young for a Wallace. Calling it, that's a line. He would have said that no matter what name I gave. It's my grandfather's name. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Mm. Yeah. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. I think it's a kind of a place where you can have alternate identities without it being a big fuss. Well, I'm Wallace tonight. Delightful. Do I detect sarcasm? Ever got tricked by a raccoon before? <laughs> uh, do I detect sarcasm? Not at all. I'm truly delighted. My night just got a lot more interesting. I hope you'll tell me about yours once it's over. Take my card. Investigative journalist? It's a living, usually. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. I'll see you around. Have you seen an otter gentleman here tonight? No, but I only sat down a minute ago. Got it. It was lovely to meet you, Renee Wilson. Goodbye. <clears throat> okay, let's talk to Colby then. Hey there, you here for Eden Simmons show too? I'm so happy to see her live, finally. <clears throat> hmm. Haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Not quite. I'm actually here running a sort of errand. Sorry, I'm looking for a friend. Have you seen an otter gentleman? Here's his photo. Um, yeah, actually, also the music is great, so I can't wait for this game to be finished and released. Um, everything is great about it. I have not found anything that I dislike so far. Um, I guess haven't heard of her before. Has a nice sound though. Well, I'm probably a bit biased, but yeah, she's great. You sound like a big fan. This the sort of music she usually plays? 
Does she play Euro often? I'm actually looking for someone. You sound like a big fan. I got a record player just for her. She's mostly all I listen to. But it's the first time you're catching her live? What sort of music does she play while you're listening it, listening to it right now? Yeah, first time you're catching it live? Heh, <laughs> nah, my mom doesn't approve of the place. Had to do a bit of sneaking to be here tonight. How come, if you don't mind me asking? Uh, good music, sounds like it was worth it. Uh, <laughs> funny, that's something we have in common. <laughs> How come, if you don't mind me asking? Eh, I don't think she stepped in a bar in her life. This place is about ten times sleazier in her head. Sounds like it was worth it. Good mu It's good music. <laughs> Hard to imagine that. Uh, yeah, sounds like it was worth it. It's good music. Ha! Well, you can only be sure if you stay for the whole show. You know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. Wish I could. Uh, this might pique her interest, so... Yeah, mm, you know, I had to do my share of sneaking to be here tonight. Oh, color me intrigued. If not for the music, what are you sneaking around for? Can you keep a secret? Yes, sir! Um, do we trust the story she's given us? I guess so. Mm, might be useful to give her a bit of the story so that we get her to tell us more. Okay, uh, let's hope she doesn't tell on us. Mm, I'm a private investigator. I'm working a case right now. No way! I would have never guessed! What's the case? The details are confidential, but I'm looking for an otter gentleman. Here's his photo. Let me think. I think I saw someone like that walk in. Did you see where he went? Was his hat green? Did he have a briefcase with him? Thanks and enjoy the show. Um, let's ask for the yeah both details ideally, but maybe first the briefcase because he definitely should have had that since he came from work. I'm not sure, I'm sorry. Was his hat green? Oh, yes! And so was his tie. I thought that was funny. Okay. Did you see where he went? I saw him come in and talk to the Afghan lady in the jade-colored dress. Thanks and enjoy the show. Okay. Great. So... Um, is that jade? I guess so. Hmm. There's the bouncer, bartender. I guess better quickly talk to the important people. So Ingrid it is. Well, hello there, honey. Uh, to what do I owe the pleasure? I'm just looking for a friend. Just curious. Do you work here? Um. Yeah. Just curious, do you work here? <laughs> you really are new here, huh? I'm part of the Byte family, sure. You have an air of hostess about you, but you've not greeted anybody. Um, yeah, let's just ask, so what exactly do you do? Now that information is for regulars, or the more generous newcomers. And I know you're not a regular. So, a guy who pulled the short straw in life can get a break. <coughs> I see. Well, the name's Wallace, editor at Hawthorne Publishing. I'm a frugal sort, but it's but I got connections. Ah, well, my name is Howard. I'll do my best, but I'm not exactly a high roller. Huh. Hmm. Okay, well, let's try this. Oh well, my name is Howard. I'll do my I do my best, but I'm not exactly a high roller. Please to make your acquaintance, Howard. I'm Ingrid, but I'm afraid I can't be polite with pleasantries. Well, my mama always taught me good manners cost nothing. Maybe, but I can't spend them either. 
Honey, if you're that curious, come back more often. Show me you really care. Hey, maybe I will. See you around. <laughs> I'm, I, I'm, I'm beginning to suspect you're only here to bewitch the clientele. <laughs> me, oh my. You've deduced the full extent of my talents. Oh, I'm sure there's more to you than meets the eye. I'll be back soon. Hmm. Bye, Han. Uh. So we didn't get any useful information there. Damn. <laughs> Let's see. Um, once again, wrong button. Uh, the Bite, Renee. I met an interesting character, Renee Wilson. She's an inv investigative journalist, though she didn't mention for which publication. Her card doesn't say either. Maybe she freelances? That's brave. Seems rather clever. So I should probably be flattered that she thought I seemed sharp too. Okay, Colby. Found a chatty patron, a Pomeranian young lady. She's here for the music and not here often, and she seems oblivious to the shady ambience of the bite. Ignorance is bliss. Probably not a coincidence, she's been one of the friendliest people here tonight. Friendly dog lady saw green tonight. Okay. Ingrid. Talk to the Afghan in the green dress named Ingrid. I think she works for the bite, but she was dodgy about it. Ah, oh, damn, I think I could have gotten more information there. So that's green. Or jade. This doesn't look green to me. This is grayish blue, but well. <laughs> that's the first first thing I, uh, I'm not agreeing with in this game. <laughs> Well, let's talk to Audrey. Um, isn't this too dreamy? Uh, listen, I'm looking for someone. Well, you sure are. Ah, let's not flirt here. Excuse me. Well, at, at least not in, in this way. <laughs> Excuse me? God, I love this music. Wanna dance with me? I am looking for my friend, an otter. Have you seen him? Not in the mood for dancing. Ah, let's dance. Wanna dance with me? Hmm? Sorry, no. Ah, uh, can you at least answer a couple of questions for me? Not really. Leave me alone, okay? Sorry to bother you. Have a pleasant evening. Okay, bye. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Have a great evening. Want another card? <laughs> okay, well... Ah, damn. Well, let's see what the others have to tell us. Clarissa. You look a little lost. It's that obvious. I'm exactly where I need to be. Ah, it's that obvious. It is, to me. What gave it away? I must admit, it's not my usual scene. You, however, seem right at home. Uh, what gave it away? Nah. You, however, seem right at home. I practically am. Wouldn't you say so, boy? First name terms with the bartender too, eh? Allow me to formally introduce myself. I'm Clarissa Bloodworth. I own the bite. Well, allow me to say you've got a very cozy place here. If I'd have known, I'd have been more mindful of my manners. I've heard that name before. Pleasure to meet you, Mrs. Bloodworth. Um, if I had, uh, if I'd have known, I'd been more careful. I'd have been more careful of my manners. <laughs> no need to stand on ceremony with me, darling. And so, to whom do I owe the pleasure? The name's Wallace. I guess. Yeah, private investigator is not going to be helpful if she. Uh, is actually involved in organized crime. Name's Wallace. The pleasure is mine, Wallace. And what's your profession? I work at a publishing house. Do you read? Nothing specific, just gigs here and there. Whatever pays. <laughs> I'm a photographer. Private stuff mostly. Okay. Um, well, we had this option before, so it might be good to take the option that gives us a 
solid backstory. So I work at a publishing house. Do you read? Voraciously. How can I help you, Wallace? What's good here? Do you have any special recommendations? Folks say that our chef's dishes are to die for. Otherwise, just relax and enjoy the show. Eden's voice is something else. But what brought you here in the first place? Um, I heard you also provide more exciting services. Yeah, she doesn't seem like the type who just give me straight out information on Jeremy Green. So I've, I heard you also provide more exciting services. Well now, that depends. What sort of excitement are we talking about here? Heard I'd be able to procure some high-grade monkey butt around here. This place must this this place must have a VIP section. Am I wrong? Eh, let's not go. Let's not go straight out to the monkey butt. This place must have a VIP section. Am I wrong? I'm not sure you're quite qualified for it just yet. I'll do anything. What's required? Can you at least tell me what I'm missing up there? I don't look exclusive enough for it. <clears throat> uh, that's a bit desperate. Can you at least tell me what I'm missing up there? <laughs> no, I wouldn't want to spoil the surprise. But if you can convince me that just one thing you've told me so far is the truth, then I might reconsider. And how do I do that? All I've been tonight is honest. Mr. Wallace, if that's your real name, Playing coy clearly doesn't suit you, and it's certainly not appropriate for in my establishment. I suggest you take your business elsewhere. Too bad. Guess I'll find somewhere else to give my money to. Excuse me? I don't understand. I'd really rather stay. Oh, let's be bold. I'd really rather stay. Oh, I must insist. Or should I ask Hank to insist instead? He can be oh so persuasive when he's angry. No need. I'm gone. Thank you. Perhaps me and the real you will see each other again sometime. Perhaps. Until then, Clarissa. Oh, damn. Wrong choices there, I think. Damn. Well, we got a new objective. I'm a bad, detec de bad detective. Uh, damn. Oh. Okay, let's do it with a, a directional pad. I met the owner of the bite, Clarissa Bloodworth. She kicked me out before I could find Green, told her I was there for a good time, asked about drugs. She could tell it was a lie, but even before, from the moment we started talking, you could have cut the air with a knife. She's hiding something. Wonder what? Okay, Audrey, there's something haunting about the way that one moves. Almost hypnotic, but I'm getting distracted. Okay, yeah, two fails in a row. Clarissa Bloodworth, she's hiding something. Green is there. I just need to find another way in. Okay, so not all is lost. Talk to the bouncer again. Get out. Okay. I think it's time to go back to the alley. Larry. How did it go? Did you find him? I got kicked out. Oh, Howard. How'd you manage that? Doesn't matter. So... So they used the back door for deliveries, right? I think I poked the bear. <laughs> the bouncer? I met Clarissa Bloodworth. Oh man, what did you do? If she's upset, you better get used to watching your back. I need to find another way in. No, no, hold up. You said you didn't get into cases like this anymore. And you told me you had no first-hand experience with monkey butt. People don't change, Larry. No, that's rude. Doesn't matter. I need to get in. I need to. Larry, what if it's the case? Something is wrong and I need to find out. I find and I need to find out. Okay. Uh I don't get it quite, but uh yeah, okay, this is, seems to be the most uh, open response. Larry, what if, it's, what if it's the case? Something is wrong and I need to find out. G 
Yes, I'd recommend it against it, but you do you. Please don't um, push buttons on the keyboard, Carter. <laughs> yes, I'd recommend against it, but you do you. So any other ways in? All right, all right. The truck over there just arrived, and some fellows entered through the back door. I also heard voices coming from the roof, so they must have uh, they must have a door up there. Tell me about the back door. Tell me about the door on the rooftop. Ah, uh, yeah, rooftop seems pretty close to the second floor, so that's nice. Um, tell me about the door on the rooftop. Well, most of these old buildings have one. Problem is, how are you gonna get on the roof? Bribe the security? Is there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. Maybe I could climb it from here? Well, you are a raccoon. <laughs> uh, is there a fire escape? You could give me a lift. Yeah, that sounds nice. Getting some help. Nah, no fire escape. And the bite is too high. Are there any smaller structures you could climb first? The press stand! Whoa there, that could work! Start with the press stand, go to Mackenzie, and proceed along the roofs. But you should know that Bo is kind of a... dick nugget. <laughs> That's the most accurate description of Bo I've heard in my life. Oh no, oh no, please don't push that button especially. You're a dangerous kitty. Uh, he almost put my PC into sleep mode, so that wouldn't have been great. Um, yeah, uh, whoa there, that could work. That was kind of a dick nugget. That's the most accurate description of Bull I've heard in my life. Is he though? He seems kind of neutral to me. Well, who isn't a bit of a dick nugget nowadays? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go with number one. Most accurate description of Bull I've heard in my life. You're welcome. Anyway, I suggest talking to him and see if he'd be up for it. Uh, tell me about the back door. They have a little intercom box. You ring, they pick up, and if you're someone they're expecting, they buzz you in. Any clue on how I could become someone they're expecting? No idea. Maybe they use some sort of code. You're the detective, not me. Okay. Yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna try the rooftop. But both options probably are possible. But rooftop seems nicer to me. No conversation with anyone, ideally. Thanks for your help, friend. Goodbye. I mean, yes, there is a conversation with Bo, but not a conversation with anyone inside that building. And we didn't mess things up with Bo. We did with uh, the VCPD, but it's all right. Um, yeah, we messed that up already. Oh, we can talk to Sid. Didn't see Sid before feeling peckish i've got a sweet and savory you can mix and match make your own trail mix how about it sorry do you hang around granville often oh do you have unshelled pumpkin seeds of course got salted and unsalted each peggy's worth a half loon but i'll give you three for a loon it's a steal i'll have one say you hang around granville often uh, i'll have one just one. Is your name really Sid? <laughs> um, and that's not really important. I'll have one. Say, you hang around Granville often. I'm here from time to time. Can I help you with something, sir? I need to find a way into the bite. I'm looking for someone to get me on the rooftops. Yeah. Uh, sorry, sir. Wish I could be of more help, but I've never been up there myself. I don't know. Uh, do you know how to get into the bite? The fancy jazz bar? I assume you tried the front door. Got kicked out through the front door. <laughs> uh, oh, uh, maybe there's a back door? I really don't know the place very well. Sorry. You look like you're itching to ask something. What is it? Why'd you get kicked out anyway? They didn't like that I was snooping around. <laughs> Got into an argument that turned into a fight. <laughs> Um, this might make me look intimidating, so maybe Sid will tell me more. So, <laughs> got into an argument that turned into a fight. Why are you trying to get back in? Sounds like trouble. I left my keys inside. I see. That's quite a pickle. So, do you know a way in? Sorry, sir. I really wish I could help. I would if I could. I swear. 
But I was being truthful before. I don't know any way to get in. Worth a shot. Thanks anyway. Any new information on Sid? Uh, well, that's in the alley. No, only Larry. Oh, Granville. Yeah, it's Granville, not the alley. So Sid. Sid sells seats. <laughs> Names are destiny, right? Seems like a nice kid. Chipper and hardworking. Wonder how long it'll take for life to rub it off him. Okay. That's uh, pretty negative. <laughs> so... Uh, yeah, nothing new there. Okay, let's talk to Bo. Back so soon? What now? Hey Bo, I was hoping you could help me out. I don't know, I'm quite busy. Uh, you are right, you sound irritated. Sorry, I'm just... It's been a slow day to begin with, and now that hawking rodent stealing what little clientele was trickling in. Uh, uh, hey, I guess now we're even. Why would we be even now? I don't get it. Uh, wait, who's stealing your clients? I know that. It's alright, man. Sounds rough. I don't know. This sounds like ending the conversation. It's all right, man. Don't help me. Uh, so I guess... Hmm. Hey, I guess now we're even. Don't know what I'm referring to here, but what did you need anyway? I just need to climb the stand. Absolutely not. Do you know how much time and effort it takes to keep the stand in good condition? Come on, Bo. I need this for work. What if I could offer something in return? The stand will be fine, Bo, and in any case, I promise to pay for any damages. Uh, what if I could offer something in return? I don't really want to do that because he might ask me to drive the peddlers away and that doesn't seem right. So let's try this. The stand will be fine, Bo, and in any case, I promise to pay for the damages. He might say, though, you ain't got no money. <laughs> Ah. Okay, let's try to... Now that you mention it, maybe you could help out with the little issue I've been having. Ah, I knew it. I'm almost afraid to ask. But what do you have in mind? I need that Pika Hawker. The one with the seats off Granville. Can you do that? I don't know, Bo. That's not really the sort of thing I do. Consider it done. Ugh, I don't want to, but fine. I'll go talk to him at least. No. I don't do that sort of thing. I don't know, Bo. That's not really the sort of thing I do. All I'm saying is, if you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. It's what's fair. Uh, why can't I say no? Uh, you're lucky I'm desperate. I'll go talk to the kid. Uh, well, I'll go talk to the kid. Let's see what options we have then. I'm not gonna tell him to just go away. No, not yet. What are you doing here then? Get on with it. Okay, Bo, geez. Geez, I mean. I think it's geez, right? <laughs> um, uh, okay, should we talk to Sid or should we try the back door rather? Uh, let's try talking to Sid. Maybe he's willing to help us out. Hey there, back for more? Uh, Listen, I have a strange favor to ask. Ah, uh, okay. Remember how I said I needed to get onto the rooftops? Could you leave Granville, at least for tonight? You've got places other than Granville to set up shop, right? Well, do you have a seller's permit? <laughs> no. Um, remember how I said I needed to get onto the rooftops? Yeah, I think I found a way, but I need your help. <laughs> and remember how you said you'd help me if you could? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's do that. Uh, and remember how you said you'd help me out if you could. Uh, I... yeah, I do. As luck would have it, I need your help. I need you to... Uh, uh, as luck would have it, I need your help. I guess I can try. What sort of help do you need? Uh, 
I need to climb the press stand. Oh boy, I don't like where this thing is going. He asked for something, didn't he? How do I fit into this? Well, I'm supposed to chase you off Granville. Listen, I wish I could help, but Granville's a great sales spot. Damn stash. I'm very sorry. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Both a bigot and a bully. I hate doing his dirty work. Yep. But... But I do need his help, unfortunately. Alright, be straight with me and I might help you out. Why do you need to get on that rooftop? You know I wo wouldn't ask if it wasn't important. Right, because you need to get your keys. Actually, you see I'm a private eye. I need access to the buy to investigate a case. So first you lie to me and now you want me to give up a whole night's worth of my work so you can do yours? Why should I help you? I'm sorry I lied before, but in my line of work information is sensitive. Strictly need to know. I don't know. I was just hoping you were the kind of person who would, I guess. Oh, I don't have time for this. Do you have a status permit? Uh. Uh. Yeah, I'm sorry I lied before. So, I didn't need to know before, even though you asked for my help too. Why are you telling me now? I wasn't sure you could help me before. This time, ironically, you're the only one who can. I'm asking you to give something up. Doesn't feel right doing that and lying to you. Um, yep. Whatever. I guess I'll call it a night. But you owe me. Thanks, and sorry for the inconvenience. Appreciate it. Uh, this game is so good. It's even good at making me feel bad about what I've done. <laughs> I mean, uh, he went willingly, I didn't chase him off, so it's okay in that regard, but I still feel bad about lying to him in the first place in the beginning. That was basically uh, not a nice thing to do, but yeah. Um, I'm, I've got the case in, in my mind, so eh. Well, let's talk to Bo. Well, what happened? Uh, I scared him off. Don't think he'll be back for a while. He agreed to stay off Granville for a while. Agreed? He was most likely lying, you know, and will be back tomorrow. That's not what I wanted. You're useless. Get him off Greenville, a uh, Granville. I did what you asked. Uh, oh, come on, Bo, just let me climb the damn stand. Uh, yeah, let's make him feel uncomfortable and dishonest, and so I think that's the best option. So you're gonna go back on the deal? And here I had you packed for the honest type. I don't go back on my word, but I know better than humor you next time. Thanks. Okay, that worked. Let's climb the new stand. <laughs> yeah, raccoons are made for climbing, so this is the right choice. Better than the back door. I'm the king of the world. I'm the king of the world. Take it, Foxy Burger. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. There's a person suing in kind of an atelier here in the Su Su. Uh, I think I'm in love with this game. Whoa, that's a view. Yeah, I'm glad we took this route. If, if there even was another route, maybe it wouldn't have worked out. Uh, don't fall, please. Give me the option to climb down. Okay, jump then. And up we go. Wish I could just stay here. If only pigeons could accept me as one of their own. <laughs> That was a deep fall. Green bastard, you better be there. Okay, enter the bite. 
Okay, here we are. This must be the bite's second floor. Maybe I'll find something useful to lead me to green. Or maybe a teapot. Parsley brew. Also known as anti-baby potion. Yup, bite's definitely a brothel. Okay. That's pretty dark. Inspect mirror table. Taking time off, Rose. Give me a call. Miss you. Who's Rose? Oh, we can move this. That's great. Darling, could you take a minute to clean? More Margaret Moore. Okay, why did I have to uncover this or was it was it this? I'm confused here. I think I'm gonna take the mouse for this. I think it will be ooh, okay, there we are. Uh, X to pick up. What was that? Well, I think that's what we were here to find, but what is it? Inventory. Ah, Jeremy Green's photo. Oh, yeah, we had that. All right, the newspaper. We bought that. The buy ticket. We found that. Uh, but we didn't need it in the end. Renee's card. Okay. Uh, bag of seeds. Perfectly roasted. <laughs> Sid definitely knows his seeds. Uh, so, wait. What did we pick up? Gift box. Why did I have to go through this so many times to find this? Well, gift box found this in the staff room of uh, at the bite. Belonged to one of the girls, Rose. And Rose seems to have disappeared from that other note. So maybe he was a client of Rose and fell in love with her and then she disappeared and now he's totally messed up and hooked on monkey bot well that's a theory at least another mirror table a note some honey for your tea mom swears by it greg okay is there anything else maybe i should crouch <laughs> just to be more stealthy here open door okay Yes, I know. Thanks. This time I will remember. Enemies can hear you when you crouch and don't see you behind dark objects. Okay. Uh, this looks like a dark object. Green must be in one of these rooms. I have to be careful not to get caught. Mm -hmm. This is cool. Some stealth action. room hopefully shit I missed him he's just been here I can smell the monkey butt maybe he left something behind that could help Odette I wonder if we would have encountered him if we managed to get things right in the beginning mm. well had probably not that whole getting in there through the roof or the back door will probably not be cut out if you make the right decisions first I don't know look at the painting a green tie is stuck behind the frame. What if I budge it? Now ah, let's look first. Green hat. Green's green hat. Okay, so we don't take the hat. Herbs. Or herbs, I don't know. I think herbs, right? That must be monkey butt. To be honest, I imagine something nastier than herbs, but oh boy, it stinks. Okay, let's go for the green tie. Let's... Oh, what the... A secret lift? And green went in there? I wonder what's on the other side. Okay. 
the secret area has another secret area behind it. I might just as well take a shot. Get in there and press a button. Find the guy. Or maybe something more exciting. The club is definitely hiding something. Might also be really dangerous, but... Sure. I guess. New objective. Let's check it out. Uh, new objective. Green was here, but what was he up to? Investigate further into what kind of operation is going on at the bite. Okay, maybe he does know where Rose went. Um, well, that's the lift. There we can go outside. Anything else in here? Nope, just laundry and an oven. Okay, let's open the door. Okay. A freezer? Green wanted an ice cream? I guess not. Cork board. Greg, if you're gonna swipe stuff for the girls, you need to make a note or you mess up the inventory. Who's Greg? Was it the bouncer? I'm not sure. Oh, and here's the intercom where we might have also gotten in, maybe? Or, well... Maybe what we would have reached from the outside. Not sure. Let's see. It's an intercom connected to the uh, to other rooms in the building. There is a list of extensions close by. Dial bar, dial freezer, dial packaging, dial kitchen, leave. I don't think I want to contact anyone right now. Although, maybe, maybe later. Let's look outside the door. Closed, but the hatch is wide open. Come on. Okay. Uh, so I guess we have to use the intercom. Um, well, the bar is not really the place. I think I'm going to find friendly people. The kitchen has great food, I heard. And we are in the freezer, right? Or are we in the refrigerator? Let's dial the kitchen. Kitchen, listening. You suck. <laughs> How are you doing? I want to order a large pizza, pineapple on top. <laughs> what do I choose here? Eh. Uh, how are you doing? I'm good. Wait, who's this? Don't move! Okay. Think somebody's coming. Eh. Let's hide. Maybe they'll leave the door open. I hear something. Steps, but not anymore. I wonder if the person is gone now. The controls are stuck. I can't get back. Fuck. Okay, let's go back outside, I guess. Oh yes, the door was left open. Oh no, it's just the hatch. Oh, that was what they, what was meant with the hatch. Okay, I need to crawl through through the vents. Oh, here's the kitchen. Ah, okay, now I get the whole thing. <laughs> Call the kitchen and then go through the hatch. Okay, that makes sense. I want to order large pizza, pineapple on top. <laughs> Don't order pizza with pineapple on top. That's not, not good pizza. Pineapple on pizza? Are you crazy? Uh, wait! Don't go anywhere! I think somebody's coming. Yep, and I'm going where they are coming from. Mixer. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, that was weird. Ah, okay. I'm hidden here. Good to know. Ah, damn. Okay. I think now I've got the full picture. Intercom, mixer, go. So, you suck. Who is this? Don't you fucking move! Something is burning here. Ah, okay. When the other character is coming back, I think I might have to use the mixer. Yeah. Oh no. Not good enough. <laughs> Not the smartest cougars around. Um, well, damn. Um, yeah, let's do it again. Kata is disappointed too and bumping into the camera with full force. Because it's not pointed at you or what's the problem? Okay, mm. this should be fine, I think. Yeah. Alright. Um, nah, maybe a bit higher. Keyboard is totally visible because the kata pushed it away. Okay, mm this should be fine. Okay, once again, let's do this right this time. I think I have to be quick, but there must be some way to get the other character away from there. Um, well, I guess we'll see. Dial Kitchen, how are you doing? Whoops. And go quick. think the second mixer was necessary. <coughs> locker room. No sign of my otter. Inspect locker. Ah, let's use the mouse again. Um, so we can move stuff around and there's something behind. Gregory, could you maybe keep your papers on your locker? Maybe you farting. <laughs> Advanced humor. Nope, I'll put it all on your locker. What are these? This seems to be part of a code. So, ah, the map, I think. The citizen, rising star, Andrew West pushes trawlers to final versus stallings. Authorities apprehend snowplow vandal. Citywide all star. Okay. Um, so, uh, this doesn't quite fit. Here's a family favorite, Apes Delight. Hmm, maybe this photo or this thing here. Yeah, this is also a piece of the coat, I think. Um, yeah, I think the photo. Oh, well, for this it's the right size. Interesting. Ah, okay, here we go. So the four is part of a code, I think. And what's up here? Um, I don't get the symbols yet, to be honest, but I think these all have fitting things. Hmm. AV, I guess. Ah, okay, it maybe shows you what's first and then what comes next. Um, hmm, but I'm not really sure. So it could be five. Yeah, it's definitely five because there's nothing on this one under that. 
Maybe this AV is also wrong because, yeah, it's probably for the citizen. Ah. Yeah, this looks better. Um. So much stuff to move around here. Um, so we have this map. Uh, four. We have the citizen. And we get AV one A. Um, maybe it's just the one five one four. with the symbols here they must mean something and there are four symbols and oh there's still this okay mm. oh yeah zero okay mm. well these are all circles so I guess number two would be the four this has uh, the Square thingy, diamond, the diamond. This looks like the diamond, so it's four, five. Um, not sure about AVA, but I guess they are all pointy, and <laughs> so it might be the triangle thing. Um, I guess. So the last one would be the one. So it was four, five, one in the end. And this one has the square in the cutout part as well. So zero, four, five, one, I suppose. Zero, four, five, one, let's try. Um, and a note, Greg, keep turnkey downstairs by your station. Okay. Okay, okay. Uh, let me check again. Oh, okay. Thanks for following. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, yeah, zero, four, five, one. All right, zero, four, five, one. Got to remember that, but I um, think, yeah, no. Uh, fright lift. Code lock. What's the fright lift do? Can I write it? I'll try the lock first. Uh, zero, four, five, one. Let's hope it's not the alarm. It's right. Okay, Carter. Bad position. I think it's all right. Hmm, I thought it was a movie sequence, but okay, that's us back there. Huh, this is creepy. Um, okay, nothing to do, just walk through. Oh, this is so creepy. Oh, damn. I think there's... There's a body there. Mm. <laughs> Don't turn on the lights. Okay, let's do it. Oh my fucking... What?! Green's dead! Fuck! What have I... What have you gotten yourself into? Somebody's coming. Quick, I have to hide. Uh, where? Uh, there. All right. Oh, damn. Greg here. No, I'm still working on a cut. Uh, okay, coming. Objective escape. 
just get the hell out of there. Ugh, damn. Mm. Sorry, Jess. Even you didn't deserve this. Nobody does. Okay, there's the key. The key that was mentioned in the note. The turn key. Maybe I'll make it out alive. Let's hope so. Packages. Uh, let's look. Delivery order. Bite Foods LLC to Starling Cider Limited. Oh. Damn. What the hell is going on here? Well, they are anthropomorphic animals and there are carnivores, so... <laughs> I guess that's what's going on. You are going on, Carter. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Oh, there I am. What's up there? I want to check these blue and green bottle. Mm, nope. Can't do anything, so let's keep crouching. has me seriously on edge. Upstairs. Okay, use the lift. All right, um, we are we been here in the laundry room? Feels like we have. Oh, there are the green and blue bottles too. Um, <laughs> I thought he was listening, but I think that was just random, or is it? I don't know. Well, uh, at least I can't hear anything. So yeah, let's escape. Sorry for that. Um, yeah, it's over, so it's all right. Thank you for playing Backbone Demo Prologue. Its contents are going to be evolving until full game release. Um, thank you for making this. This is so amazing. Um, just take take my money and finish finish the damn game. <laughs> I want to continue playing this so bad. This is amazing. Ah, uh, yeah. I'm really happy I played this and I definitely want to want to play the full version. Uh, have I said it's coming out next year, 2021? Um, I don't know when exactly. I don't know if the developers know yet when exactly it's going to come out, but hopefully not too late. But whatever, take the time you need and um, continue making this as amazing as it is already in the following parts. If you manage to make it even better than this, then um, yeah, I don't know. I'll just um, spend half of the time I'm playing on uh, telling how amazing everything is. <laughs> ah, yeah, this this was great. I hope you all uh, enjoyed it too. If you did, um, follow me like <laughs> one of the viewers did. Um, that's really cool. Thanks for that. And yeah, um, 
as I've often said, if you're watching this on YouTube, you um, can always visit my Twitch account and um, I try to figure out a regular schedule so that you know when I'll be streaming, but I'm not done with that yet. I'm thinking about um, having like a weekly schedule, like on one day I'll play one game, another day another game, maybe on one of the days I'm going to be playing demo versions like this one uh, so that I can check out new games. Uh, yeah, that's kind of the plan. But yeah, I really need, really need to figure out how to distribute my time on all the activities I want to do. But uh, yeah, I'm not going to bore you with that. Uh, one of these activities is feeding the cats, although they seem quite relaxed right now, except for the one cat that was scratching on my couch in the background. Um, I think I'm going to show you a picture of one of the cats who's uh, lying on the table. Both two of my cats are lying on tables, one in front of the camera right here. I think I can show him to you. This is, yeah, that's my room. It's messy, but that's the Carter. You saw him in other videos. <laughs> um, but yeah, the other cat is having a really great time on another table. It looks totally uncomfortable, but for some reason she likes sleeping on the table. I think I, I might point the camera and oh no, now she woke up. She notices when one talks about her. Well, sorry you missed that. <laughs> yeah, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, there will definitely be more cat content in the upcoming videos. Um, yeah, what is, what is left to say? Um, Follow me on Twitch, uh, subscribe on YouTube, that would be great. Leave a comment. You can also participate in the live chat on Twitch if you like. Um, I mean, this time I was so focused on the game, I probably wouldn't even have noticed uh, if someone wrote something. I don't know. Um, but yeah, would be great if uh, the Twitch account would get some viewers too. Uh, and yeah, this game is, as I've said, coming out next year and you can also already head over to Steam and put it on your wish list. Even if you're not sure about if you want to buy it or not, it uh, really helps out the developers if many people put it on their wish list because that um, makes Steam put it on the front page as soon as it's about to release or is released because then they expect it will create revenue for their shop. So you can do the developers a solid by just wishlisting it. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, just a tiny amount of time, but I think, uh, yeah, uh, to honor all this work that must have gone into this amazing game uh, already and still is going into it. That's that's the least one can do, so that would be great. Yeah, I think that's all. I don't know what to say. I'm still um, baffled by this, this experience. Uh, I think I'm gonna replay it uh, on my own and try to do things differently. That's how much I like it that I definitely want to spend more time in this world, even if I have experienced much of what is to experience. Uh, yeah, uh, I can't wait. I guess that's all. So thanks, uh, thanks for watching and uh, hopefully see you again next time. Bye.